No, the forehand is China. Level. Had some amazing matches in the past. Matched up a little bit later. No. Scatchcock's serve is very unusual. Hands his style of game. Skatchkov and world ranking 43, so... Uh, skills on display. Second place in the Euro... Skatchkov facing game points. Oh, and that's the edge, and it's 11 points to 8 in the first game then, in favour of Fang Bo of China. That's where he won everything across the whole board. People were talking about him as the next world champion. He's 7, he's right after that in 2000, February 2011, he won world ranking. That was about him, I like his style. The left. Scotch losing touch a little. Ah. Ooh, yeah. He gets his back to it. It's in the net. Started well, but he's drifting back off the pace. We like oh. that. Oh. Very well played. from that position so oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that who is that obviously Doraloksha but what's impressive is that Scotch got six times in a match. Wow. That's good. Ah. Got to really, really be very proactive. Any confidence or success from there? He's really, really solid. Yeah. No chance. This with Snatch Off. Four three it was. In the round of sixteen. So, so vital. Oh. Oh. That's it. And I'm afraid Skatchkov is just struggling a little bit to find it. He's marching about at the back of the court. He's looking for a solution. Not finding it yet. Fang Bo, who's just... He's like a steam train. Very, very quick at the moment. He's out of the block. Russian Open. We are in Ekaterinburg Today in the quarter-final stage. We have a Russian...
attacking speed of his opponent. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Fly right off the racket and down the line. Good emotion going on around this table at the moment. Expect this young youngster to go through as well, but never know. Not dead yet. Seven six though. Oh. Now it. Trees adopt different styles. Not much oh. going with Kachkov is not out of this. The big one. Ten seven. Aaron. S10 class as well, it was great. And here's the game, it's 11. Reach well, and he's using that advantage well. He's got a significant advantage in terms of the reach against his opponent here. And I have to say that he's beginning to read here a little bit, and it's very important, isn't it? He's played now five, for what, four games? Played four games against him, and he's just beginning to pick it. Three sets, very, very convincing. You can see that eight. And Zhang Jike is in service at the moment. He's still 3-1 in the lead. Bulls game at the moment, isn't it? Once you give the Chinese players a three or four point lead in this set, it becomes so four one. Fang Bao. Yeah, good. On the river ice. Game. He's dead. Oh, he's that sideways. sets to get up to the Chinese player's speed. Fangbo has only lost to two Europeans before and they're in favour of Skatchkov. Could well be game point here. Now oh, he's made your old Skatchkov but they've all got old heads on them. Ah, oh, he's missed it! Annoyed. Oh, it's a brilliant point! But that shows us as well that Fang was taking no chances. There's full respect to his Russian opponent. Fang Bo in games. Here we go again. A reset. And that's it. That is the match to Fang Bo. He's won by four games to one. And Skatskov would be really, really disappointed with that. He changes to Russian for the second serve. Oh. And he will certainly he will be deaf and that leaves it very very interesting for tomorrow's play for the semi-finals and finals as we watch another dominated moral but it's still going to be fascinating because we have Mikhail Paikov the local the Russia still in the draw for the quarterfinals stage Frank Bo the winner for China